Hey guys, Lone Hawk here, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to taxi and take off the FA-18C Hornet on a carrier. That's going to include the regular carrier and the super carrier, so the video will be split into two halves. So if you do enjoy this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel as this does help me out a lot. All right, let's get flying. Here are the basic controls that you're gonna need for today's video on taxi and takeoff on a carrier. So first up, you will need aircraft rudder left, aircraft rudder right, wheel brake on and off, landing gear control handle up and down, catapult hookup, pilot salute, undesignate nose wheel steer switch, flap switch down, flap switch up, communication menu. Now with the wheel brake and rudder pedal, there is also options for them under the axis commands. You just need to scroll down and find rudder and wheel brake and wheel brake left and right if you are using rudder pedals. Okay, now that we have the controls out of the way, I'm going to show you how to get the aircraft prepared for taxi and take off on the supercarrier. Uh, and then I'm going to show you how to do the same thing on the regular carrier. Now, this isn't a full supercarrier tutorial on taking off, so I'm just going to skip over a lot of the commands and stuff that you're given from the ground crew and just get the aircraft taken off. Uh, and I will have a full on supercarrier video, which will go into all the details that you need for that. Now, if you did follow my startup tutorial, then you'll need to do all the steps I show you if you are starting the aircraft hot you may need to skip some of these steps as they may have already been done for you all right so first thing we want to do is set the takeoff trim so we want to come over to the left console to the rudder trim and hit take off trim push button so you just want to push it in for a second or two and then release now you'll notice that we have a stabilizer setting of 12. That's what you need for shore or land-based operations, but as we're on a carrier, we need to set it based on the weight of the aircraft. So I'll show you how to get the weight of your aircraft. So the first thing you need to do is go to the menu button and go to the support page. Next, in the right-hand corner, you want to go to the checklist. Under checklist, you will see the aircraft weight. That is in pounds, uh, so we are at 36,826 pounds. Now, as we're below 44,000 pounds, we need to set a takeoff trim of 16. Up in the left-hand corner as well, I've added the trim to weight takeoff table. So I'll just leave that up while we set our trim. So we'll go back to the support page, go to the FCS page. Okay, so we're just going to trim up until we get to 16 degrees. All right, so now that we're at 16 degrees, we will set our flaps to half. Uh, you always want to take off with half flaps, whether that's on the carrier or on the shore. Uh, and that's what I've been able to find most consistently in all of the documentation for the F-18. Next, we're going to turn our lights on. So just in front of the throttle is the position lights and the formation lights. And then behind the throttle, it is a little hard to see, so you just need to lift them forward, is the strobe switch. Now that does start off in bright. Next is the landing and taxi light. Just turn that on as well. Now, when you are on a carrier though, you don't use any lights, whether it be day or night, until you're on the catapult, and you should never use your landing and taxi light at all. That's also what I've found uh, most consistently in all the documentation. But if you know something different or have read conflicting evidence or you were actually a Hornet pilot or a, any pilot, please let me know. I would uh, definitely like to find out from someone that was a pilot or maybe has found something different than I was able to find. Uh, next, as you have noticed, the wings are actually folded. Uh, when you start on a carry, your wings will be folded unlike they are on the shore. So we will lower them now. So to do that, you come over to the right console to the wing fold lever. You just right click on it twice to get it to go to spread. And then you can just watch the wings slowly go down. Now, once they've been down for a couple of seconds, we'll lock them in then. You can lock them in earlier, but the official way is to wait until they're all the way down. And to lock them in, you just go over the wing fold lever and mouse wheel up and that'll push it in and they are now locked. And as you can see, that master warning or the master caution that we had and the wing link warning that was on the left DDI has disappeared. So now we will set up our DDIs. So we'll set the left DDI to the HUD. We'll set the right DDI to the HSI screen and the bottom DDI to the situational awareness page. 
Uh, with the situational awareness page to turn the map on, you just push this map button and there you can see exactly where you are. Next, we need to check our anti-skid. Now the anti-skid will by default be off already. You shouldn't need to change it, but as you're on a carrier, just double check that it is in the off position. And when you are on shore, that it is on the on position. Also, you have your hook bypass. We want that to set to carrier as we're on the carrier. If you're on land, set it to field. Okay, now we'll go outside and you can see that we have wheel chocks in place now we're not gonna be able to go too far with them so we need to remove them so you need to hit the menu button then go to ground crew you then need to go to wheel chocks and remove Chief, remove the wheel chocks. as you can hear that was my pilot asking for them to be removed the ground crew has copied that and the ground crew has said that they have been removed so we'll just go outside and double check and they have uh, if you have any problems taking off, like once you connect to the catapult, in the past I have had problems. If you haven't already removed the wheel chocks, you will have issues taking off and actually getting them to remove as well. Whether or not that'll be fixed at the time you're watching this video, I'm not sure, but that could be the solution to an issue you are having. All right, and I just noticed that I actually forgot to turn the uh, HUD on. So now that that's on, you can see that we have the nose wheel steer option there. That has three settings, either off where there's nothing displayed, nose wheel steering where you have have small movements of the nose wheel or nose wheel high which is mainly used for carrier so you can make some of the sharp turns needed so we're going to go over to catapult 2 actually we'll go to catapult 1 we're going to need to turn pretty much on the dime to get over there so we're going to need nose wheel steer high on so if you haven't unfolded your wings uh, when you push the nose wheel steer high button it will stay on but as we have unfolded them you have to push and hold it to get them to stay on so next we'll just remove the park brake and now we're good to go. So we'll hold our nose wheel steer button, give it a bit of power, full right rudder, and we're just going to slowly turn back off the power a little bit as we are turning a bit fast. Now I am going to sort of skip covering what the actual animations for the crew are, as I will have a full on super carrier video to explain all of that. So we're just basically going to pull up behind the catapult, Get in nice and close. Stop when he does tell us to. Now, now that we're pulled up there, we need to lower the launch bar. So the launch bar option is just below the gear lever. So just hit that to extend. It will lower the launch bar. As you can see, it's now down. Just gonna wait for him as he will tell us to go forward. As you can see, the aircraft did just get moved forward uh, over a little bit, just so we were a bit more lined up. Just gonna go forward. Good, and as you can see, the launch bar is over the catapult. So now we need to lift up our launch bar. And it has been lifted. They're all giving us a signal. So we can go full power now. And then we have to go into the menu. This is different from the original carrier. And you have to go ground crew and you have to go salute. There is also a hotkey that you can use for this, which I will have showed in the control section. So we will salute, wait for everybody to do their thing. And away we go. So we'll gear up. And flaps up, you want to try to get both of them up before you hit 250 knots. And we're away, so we will head over to the regular carrier. So now that we've covered the super carrier, we'll cover the older carrier, uh, which is the John C. Stennis. Eventually that will become a super carrier, but uh, for those that haven't purchased that module, this will help you out. Okay, so since everything is the same in terms of setting up the aircraft as it is with the super carrier, I am just going to skip ahead until we're disengaging the park brake and the only real difference between the two carriers will happen. So we will turn our park brake off, hold the nose with a steering button in, and start to give it a bit of power. We're going to head over to Catapult 2. I'm full right rudder at the moment, so she's just slowly turning. Pretty much turns almost on a dime, does make it a lot easier. Now, you want to just sort of do your best job to line up with the Catapult, so it will make your life a lot easier in a minute. So we'll get to about there, and we'll stop. Then what we want to do is come down and the launch bar, you want to stick it to extend. 
And as you can see, the launch bar has dropped in front of the front wheel. Now we just want to slowly roll forward. You can do this in the cockpit, but it does make it a bit easier if you're outside of the plane. And we want to bring that launch bar to just behind the catapult, so about there. And then you need to hit the launch bar attach button, which is defaulted to you. Just push and hold it and it will pull your plane on onto the catapult. Now that we're connected to the catapult, we can lift the launch bar and we are ready to fly. So we will just go full power. Just give it a second and we'll be rolling. There we go. Now we just need to gear up, flaps up and you're away. Alright, so if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel as this does help me out a lot. And until next time, thanks for watching.